Many of us really enjoy the novelty of the stay-at-home order at first. Time with family, a welcome respite from running and driving ourselves and our kids everywhere, a chance to hone our cooking skills or our gardening skills. Well, the honeymoon is over. And now we're married to this. We're married to this virus situation and trying to figure out how we're going to live with this longer term. Those of us with the best coping skills will do the best. Here are six coping styles people have to help them deal with stressful situations. Now, everyone has different ways of coping, but the more styles, the more channels we have to cope, the better we will do, of course. If you can find relief through all six of them, wow, then you have more coping resources, of, of course, than somebody who only has three of these. I learned this from a stress prevention center in Israel called Mahout. Now, the Israelis certainly can teach us a thing or two about dealing with stress. So here we go. It's an acronym. The acronym is BASIC PH. B. B is for belief. I turn to my belief system as a means of coping. I reach out to those who share my religious beliefs or values, right? Some Jewish beliefs or values which help us cope, for example, are there's a God in the world. Everything he does is for the good, even though I may not understand. The world is not spinning out of control. Everything is an opportunity for growth. I can be part of the solution. I can choose kindness when so many are in need of it. So what beliefs do you have that are helping you get through this? A, A is for affect, feelings or emotions. I get in touch with my feelings. I name them, I explore the meaning of them. I share my feelings openly and I seek out people who can listen to and validate them. S, S is for social. I seek support through my friendships and social network. My well-being is enhanced by being around others, or in this case, calling them, and staying connected. I, I is for imagination. I turn to my creativity as a means of coping. I find expression or relief through art, writing, drama, music, humor, fantasy, playing games. C, C is for cognitive. I need to understand what's happening. I feel better when I learn the facts, get the data so I can plan and strategize, right? I'm constantly listening to the news for more information. PH, physical. I need physical activity to cope. I need to be running, dancing, working out, gardening, smoking, eating, having sex, <laughs> anything physical. We all need to know that we can cope when things get rough and specifically how we will do it. When we clearly see the resources we have, when we can actually name them like we just did, we can feel more certain of our ability to be strong and resilient. Please share these with your family. Ask them what they think their dominant coping, coping styles are. If your daughter's constantly on the phone, then keeping in touch with her friends, social, may be a major coping strategy of hers. So don't get on her case for it. See if every member of your family can list which coping styles they use from the most often to the least. There's so much we can learn about ourselves and our ability to be resilient from an exercise like this. I'd love for you to comment below if you share this with your family and if you found it helpful.